Well, welcome to 2021 Heart of America Athletic Conference Football Media Day. Very happy to be joined by Mid-America Nazarene head football coach, Paul Hansen. Coach, how are you doing today? Doing well. Thank you for having me. Good. Well, how excited are you and, and your staff to, to get started with this 2021 squad? And we're really excited. You know, um, a year ago, last year was just a really weird year in general. And uh, kind of having a normal off season and, and recruiting season was really big for us. And uh, I think there's just a lot of excitement right now in our program, um, kind of coming off spring ball and being able to do that. Um, when I got the job, we didn't we didn't have that. So having uh, having a good spring, good recruiting season, having our guys here on campus this summer has just been huge for our program, and really in in building it right from the bottom up. And uh, it's just really exciting to see our guys and the excitement and uh, just how it's going. So yeah, for those Hart fans, you know, watching today from different parts of the Midwest and haven't seen you know, a Coach Hanson, Mid-American Nazarene football team, you know, what What do you hope, what, what do you hope a, a pioneer football team looks like out there this year? Yeah, for sure. I mean, anyone that watched us last year, um, it was just, it was just different at times having so many different guys out there. And uh, I think you come and watch us this year, you're going to see a team that's, um, we're a lot faster. Um, we're a lot more athletic in the skill positions for sure. Um, and it's going to be a dogfight every time you play us uh, for four quarters. And, uh, and just having that mindset uh, from a defensive standpoint and, and, and from the offensive standpoint as well, um, our guys are really just doing a really good job of buying in what we're trying to do here. And uh, with that, you know, playing hard, playing fast, and not really thinking, just, just playing is really big. And especially having better depth this year will help us. That really kind of got us towards the end, end of last year. So um, that's been really exciting to see some of our young guys step up into those roles that um, that last year those guys were having to play, but this year they can learn from an older guy. Yeah, you're entering year two, but um, hopefully just kind of your first year in a, in a normal um, fall season. But, um, you know, what have you seen out of the Heart South in, in, in your experience so far? And, you know, what will it take to kind of get your team where, you, where you'd like it to be here in this division? Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is a, it's a one of the toughest conferences in general in the in the country. And then you put all these teams, a lot of these teams in the South, and it's just every week we're beating up on each other. And so, um, having played in this conference myself uh, back in the day, nothing's really changed. You know, um, uh, just the teams are just even deeper now, and you don't get an off week. And so, um, looking after last season and 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 seeing everybody that we got to play. And reevaluating our team, uh, we, we've tried to really do a good job of matching those really good teams with some athletes in different spots that could compete versus those teams. And it's been really cool to see um, how our guys responded to that. And uh, it's, it's going to be fun to kind of see how we match up with some other teams this year. Yeah, if you could kind of break down uh, the three different phases of your team. So let's, first off, we'll start with the offense. Um, you know, who are some players you hope emerge out, out there for you offensively? And, and what do you hope to see from your offense this year? Yeah, and so uh, we return about 80% of our offense from a year ago. And uh, we, we threw for a lot of yards last year in a short, uh, shortened season. Um, it starts with Caleb Tennis for sure. Um, he was uh, – Newcomer of the year last year, and he was only a freshman at the receiver position. And so he's had an incredible offseason and kind of it's been really cool to see him develop just from a basket. He was just a basketball guy coming out of high school, but he's really kind of developed into a very good receiver. And so that's been really exciting. Um, you know, Blake Atkins had a great season last year. And uh, but we also have we have six quarterbacks right now that are really competing really well. So it's been good to see that competition. Um, coming back, I have three senior running backs. Jiren Manning was a second team all conference player last year. Um, he, he, he really uh, helped us out last year when we needed some tough yards. Um, another guy to really watch out for is Kalinja Wilbridge. He's had a really good off season. He's lost a little bit of weight and uh, he's looking very, very, very good. So between those two skill positions, that's really good. Um, up front, we, uh, we returned Ajo Artez, who started every game last year at center as a freshman. And then uh, Zach Mack, who was probably last year, I mean, he was one of our best offense line that we had. He was an all-conference all type player. We also have a transfer that came in at the tackle position, Andre Brown. 
Um, I think he's going to have an incredible season. Um, he's a big, he's a big body. You'll know some uh, at, the, at the tackle position. So between those three guys up front, um, I'm really excited to watch them play. And then uh, just, just in general, at the receiver position, you know, um, Paul St. Louis has had a great, um, a great off season. Uh, Torn Abawadli um, has had a great one as well. Um, he started every game last first at the Z position. So um, I, I've, I've coached for many years, and I, I, I think this might be the deepest I've ever had at the receiver position. So I'm, I'm really excited to watch them, um, you know, uh, go make some plays for us this year. Yeah. And how about your defense? Can you uh, break down your defensive squad for us? Yeah, so we have a new defensive coordinator, Coach, uh, Coach Cordova. It came in in February. Um, you know, we had Jackson Burke last year. He was an all-conference linebacker that, that we lost. But we've done a good job of recruiting. And uh, we have a couple guys, you know, several guys inside here that can make a lot of plays for us this year. Amante Griffin is a, is a kid that we lost early in the year last year that tore his ACL. And he's back. He's lost, a little, lost some weight. And he's had a, a, a great offseason. Uh, Reese Portugals came back. He's a senior. He'll actually be his, uh, he's starting his grad work. And so those two guys inside, and we have Darren and Thatcher Robertson that have also transferred in at the inside linebacker position. That's had a great, um, you know, great off season. They're, they're hard workers. So it's been really good um, up front. We have uh, Denzel Mena who will also be a senior. He's, uh, and he's been here for a while. <laughs> so he, he definitely knows mid America. Um, I'm actually his third head coach he's had. So he, uh, he, he stayed it through and he's graduating this December. So that's really good. And uh, on, on the, at the safety position, we have a kid named Anthony Sal. Um, I didn't have him last year, and so I'm really excited to watch him play. Um, I think he's a very good player. We also have a transfer come in named Troy Hall from another, uh, from another university, and he's having a great camp right now. So um, those two in the back end, it's, really, it's, it's, it's looking really good. Uh, Wesley Smith is also someone else that um, has had a great – off season, uh, we we missed him earlier this year, and uh, our last year he actually hurt his, his uh, Achilles really bad. So uh, we're looking really good on the back half, and uh, it's it's really exciting to see some of those guys how they've uh, just worked hard this year and get get into the position for this season. How about the uh, special teamers? Who do you hope to you know see kind of be in those uh, specific positions? Yeah, and so we had a senior kicker last year, and uh, Pablo went on to graduate, and so. We've signed uh, three kickers, and uh, they they all have different um, specialties. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out. But we have Grant Pella from a local kid here in Kansas City. He actually punts, kicks, uh, he he does it all. Uh, we have Cody Grubbs. Um, he's from the Dallas, Texas area. He's uh, been kicking for a long time. And then Trevor Hiley. Um, he he also has a soccer background. He used to be a goalie, but now he's a kicker uh, at the at the football. Um, he started playing this last year. So it's been those three have done a great job of competing and uh, hopefully looking forward to them to flipping the field a little bit. And last question for you, you know, entering, like you said, year two, um, you've you know, been embraced now with the Mid American Nazarene community there in Olathe and, and, and across um, the region. But, you know, how much does Mid American Nazarene mean to you and, and, and uh, the, the local community there and, and how excited are you to, to have another season to to bring up bring football to that area. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm really thrilled about this. Um, kind of having grown up here in the Kansas City area, I, I spent a lot of my life on the north the northern northern part um, of the city, and now being on this side is really cool. Moving here, but after 20 days of being here, we all shut down a little bit. So this year, I'm hoping for more of a normal year and. Uh, Getting just getting out more in the community and having the community members on campus will be really big this year. I'm really excited about having our homecoming game here on campus this year and uh, getting just to meet a lot of people I still haven't got to meet just because of, uh, of the challenges we've had this last year. So um, I'm just really excited um, and it's just really cool to kind of get our guys out in the community now and going to the local elementary schools and just being, being visible in the community. Uh, so I'm just hope we keep on staying on this path and uh, I'm excited for it. Great. Well, Coach Hanson, thank you so much for your time. We'll, uh, we'll wrap up here, but um, good luck this season as you get ready for 2021 and uh, you know, you guys will get started in a couple of weeks. So, so good luck. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Thank you.